So this is just uh, another typical water heater we do. Um, the changes and setups. We always put a pan underneath of it. Uh, always by code, you're supposed to put a new gas flex line on them. Uh, we always put new lines on the lines going in. Uh, some reuse them. We always upgrade them to an expansion valve and then a second isolation valve. That way, you know, we know the tank's going to have to be replaced again. Um, so, you know, we just get it set up so we don't have to kill the whole house. They can just kill it and uh, then that way they still have water coming out of their faucets. We get these Ream, the 12 year warranty ones from Home Depot because they have the best warranty. Most people know that I am not a Ream fan, but when it comes to the water heaters, we've only had to call them a few times uh, out of all the water heaters we do. And they drop ship the parts typically overnight uh, the same day and, you know, get them to you pretty quick versus everybody else we have to go chase them down and so that's the reason we like ream for the water heaters but only the water heaters anyway that's what the inspectors are looking for if you're gonna try to do it yourself you know level it out down there at the bottom the metal shims the drip blade, the pressure relief within six inches, new gas flex lines, screw off. You're going to have three screws in each joint and then either expansion valve or expansion tank. We always do the valves a uh, lot cleaner looking, take up less room. So.